Hi and welcome to Sim Captain, bringing you an unboxing video. Uh, first time purchase from Desktop Aviator. Let's take a look at what I got. Well, both panels are here. They supply you with a USB cable. We got, uh, we got a lot of this newspaper stuff, so I'm trying to be careful getting this out first, and then we'll inspect it. So we'll get rid of that. So let's take a look. This is going to be the desktop aviator for flight sim 10 landing gear selector oh yeah that looks good Let's get our hands on it here all right so we got the desktop aviator landing gear selector it's got a push to test the lights for green and red, and the landing gear selector. Oh, uh, yeah. And this is why I specifically chose this, uh, was because you have to pull it out to put it down. Pull out to put it up. Here's a look at the back. Now, the panel itself is plastic, but it does look good, and it says it will fit directly into the go flight rack so we'll take a look but that looks good I'm happy I hope this works well and the other thing I purchased from desktop aviator looks good see the USB cable is in this bag with it It's in a plastic box, but it is the parking brake parking brake handle, which is a push-pull handle. And it has the comes in this black plastic box, which I'll probably use Velcro to secure it. And that's nice. You can spin that around. So if you want to mount it this way or whichever way. But this will definitely be better than using the toggle switch that I was using. And the cable is connected directly to it. So I'm looking forward. I hope this works well too. So that's the unboxing of my two new modules from Desktop Aviator. And I'll let you know how they work out once I figure out where I'm going to put them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, happy landings.